All right, so I thought I'd make an autumn card. And I have a bunch of scraps here. And I have a new punch, so I thought I would make a card with the punch and all these little strips here. And I haven't made this card in advance, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And I have my cuddle bug off to the right of me, so I think I would like to start. Oh, why is that not playing? Oh, well, I think my laptop or my iPad's just frozen. So hopefully that'll work its way out and it'll start working in a second here. So I'm going to have early espresso and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. And I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Hi Steph, how are you? From the UK, so it must be nighttime there. What time is it here? I think it's like 1.30ish p.m. here. Okay, so there's my card base. And then I'm going to take a piece of crumb cake and I'm going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. And then I just have my cuddle bug off to the side here, so I'm going to run this through my tasteful textures embossing folder. To give it a little bit of texture. And I think I'm going to have my card going up and down this way. And I think I'm going to cut some one inch strips because this punch you need half an inch, three quarters of an inch, or one inch strips wide. So I'll bring back my trimmer. Yeah, my iPad's frozen, I think some reason. I tell you, I don't have any luck with these lives at all. Okay, so I'm not too worried about the length of the strips right now. I'm just going to cut them to one inches in width. And I'm kind of getting this idea from the mini catalog. There was a Halloween card done with a bunch of strips that they use the, the banner punch. Okay, so, and I'm just debating if I want all DSP or if I want to add I'm going to add some maybe the these strips I'll do at like three quarters of an inch and make these ones a little bit not as thick and I think I'll do a Cajun craze too how thick is that one that one is three quarters of an inch so that's already the right width and I think the these strips I'll run through the embossing folder as well Yeah, I don't know why my iPad is frozen. It's doing the little thinking circle thing. 
So if you're talking to me, <laughs> I'm not seeing any comments other than good evening from the UK. <laughs> I'm hoping Santa Claus will bring me a new laptop because I need a new laptop. Okay, so I think I would like to have a strip of this one too. See how far along this gets us because I'm going to be working on this piece of crumb cake so so I think I like going to overlap them some of them I'm going to raise with dimensionals and there's only one more design that I would like to have and I might have to cut a piece down because I don't see any in my little pretty foiled paper so I'm just gonna bring my trimmer back and cut this at I think I'll do this one at three quarters of an inch oops because I don't want all of my strips the same width and then I'll just weird my tablet oh well okay so I'm going to grab my banner punch and I think one end I want it all one way so I'm just gonna take all my strips and do that to this end. And then I just flip my punch over to make sure that it's lined up in the center there. I'm like I got this new punch and I'm only going to be able to play with it until the mini catalog is no longer current so I want to get my my use out of it now time is just going by so fast it's crazy I love this striped paper, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, so this one. catalog and see how they did that card. <clears throat> I 
I just want to see if they have all the banners lined up down at one area there. Okay. Okay, so they do have, oh no, they have it flipped around. So they have one with the banner on one end. Okay, so, but in this example, they did, did it on a tag, but I'm gonna do it on a card. Okay, so, I guess what I can do is, because this is 3.75 inches wide. I can cut my strips down to about 3.5. So now I want this end here. And that's still a little long, so now I know I want my strips a little bit shorter. That's it. I'm new to this punch, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to. Okay, one more time and that should do it. Okay. Okay. So, I'm thinking I need to cut my paper down to 3.75. So, I'll just go ahead and do that. I can have some of them different lengths and then that way but I like this idea I thought it would be pretty okay So let's do this on all of them. I love that color. So pretty. I think it's probably a good idea to cut your your paper just shy of three quarters of an inch half an inch or an inch so that it'll slide in and, in and out of the punch fairly nicely there oops look I did the wrong wrong end on that one I want to break this up a little bit. Like I said, it's my first time using using this, so
think I'm just going to cut some of these down just a little bit. too well. So next time I think I, I wouldn't do one inch. I would do like three quarters of an inch. But like I said, some of them I'm going to pop up. I think I'll just glue, glue some of them down and then pop some of them up and just have like different, different things going. Okay. I'm winging it. Totally winging it here. Okay, so this one I'm gonna And then if you cut like thinner strips then you can put like more different patterns on here which I think would look nice. Could do the whole card with just like different colored cardstock and then run that through the embossing folder which would be really pretty too and I'm gonna just like you know angle them and play around Turn this one this way. And then have that one go this way. And you have this one go this way. Okay, I think I need one more piece here. Whoops. And I'm just gonna But you could do like the banners on both ends the same. Okay, so this one I think I'll have going this way. And then I'll pop this one up. And I'm gonna flip it this way because I have a lot of the other ones going the other way. Like that. Hi Allison, how are you? I didn't get my um, laptop up and running, so I'm trying my tablet. But it's lagging really badly, so. But I do see that you're here. Hello. So I'm just using my new punch, and I just cut a bunch of strips, and I'm just kind of throwing, throwing them down here in different orders. 
so I just love this paper it's so pretty and then I'm gonna put it on um, espresso card base and I thought about bringing in like a leaf but I don't know it might be too where this is so busy unless I do a leaf over here I could do that I think it's going to be too big so maybe try smaller leaf like maybe this one and maybe two of the small leaves and then just add like a linen bow on top of that might look nice and I'll do one leaf in Cajun Craze because I have Cajun Craze way over here so Cajun Craze I got scraps So, I'll cut this one out in Cajun Craze. I just love this um, these leaf leaf dies are so pretty so there's one leaf and then this leaf hmm what color do I want to do it in maybe maybe early espresso We'll try that. I think solid colors would be better. Okay. So. And I think I'll have Cajun craze going that way and the espresso going this way. And then I have some linen thread. And I'm just going to tie a double bow. I don't know, maybe I'm having Wi-Fi connections. Hard to say. Okay, so there's my little linen bow, and I think I'm gonna have that there like that. Now for my sentiment,
probably should use I don't know if I want to use very vanilla or if I want to use white. I think white would show up a little bit better, so I'll do that. And I think I'm going to use Hope Changes Everything from The Love of Leaves. And I think I'm going to stamp that in mint macaron. Okay, let's move this up a little bit here. And I think I'm going to use the banner side on both ends of this. Whoops. Wrong, wrong end. There. Oh, I gotta make it a little bit shorter. I'll get the hang of this punch eventually. There we go. I think that looks good. Oh, I need it a little bit shorter on this end. What if I go like this and then trim it? See how that goes. And I'll put it in this way so I can see how close I am to my sentiment here. This is what I should have done in the first place. See, this is how you learn. Okay, that's a little better. And I think I'm gonna put a glue dot or a dimensional here, dimensional here. This has already popped up, so. Yeah, my, my tablet keeps freezing, so I don't know what's going on. And that will be like that. Got a mess going on here. Um, 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna just glue this leaf down here. And then put um, a couple dimensionals on this side. And a little bit of Tombow right here. And then I need a glue dot and I'm going to fold it in half, put it right on the base of those stems. And then add my bow. And then do that. Okay. So now I'm going to glue that to my card base. I think that turned out pretty. So now I just need a piece of Whisper White for the inside of my card. And that stuck Whisper White, I don't want to use that. Do I have any? That's all thick whisper white. I don't want to use thick for the inside of my card. Let's see. Four by five and a quarter. And for the inside, I think I'm just going to I just want to put a little strip of designer series paper, but I don't want I'll just I'll just cut this down to half an inch. And then I have another piece for another project. And I think I'll put it going down this side here. So I think um, I'm going to try uploading this to YouTube and see if I can figure that out. So. If you're watching this Facebook replay on YouTube, um, I hope you like and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Okay. And I will put all the, in the description below, all the products that I used and the link to my social media platforms and okay
And I don't think I'm going to add any gems or crystals because I think it looks nice just the way it is. And that is the inside. So I use the Autumn Gilded Designer Series paper out of the mini catalog and I use the Banners Pick-A-Punch. And then the leaves I cut out using this stamp set. And then I used a couple of the dies from this set as well. All right, have a great day everybody.